Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in once again to The Awakening. And I have with me the none other, the best of the best, Mr. Whitley. What's going on today, really? Richard? What up? What up? Look, today I've got to talk about something. You wanted to, you you ready to discuss a few uh, some quick incidents? Incidents, so, my goodness. Well, it's not an incident, it's really a personality test. Uh have you ever took one of those? I don't think so. We need to What's take the name one. of it? Because that's one that's demonic that I don't play with. What's the name of it? I can't even remember what is the name of it. Um, I took one before at a job that I was working at. Uh, and now it came back up to taking another one. Me and my friend was discussing. But I can't remember what is the site name. But I know we're going to take it again. Uh, I don't know if it's the same site, but I learned one key word that a lot of people struggle with. You ready to hear? Integrity. What does integrity mean to you? Integrity. That was one of the things that people had the most problem with because it lies between so much that we don't even think about. So I did some homework on it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did. I did because I was like, I'm lacking some. I'm lacking unto this. Because when I think of integrity, I think of doing unto others as you will have them to do unto you. And so it goes back to the show that we actually had last week. I think it was last week about um, just us being like carrying on too much doing too much for other people. How do we value ourselves, not value ourselves, but we can always be sure for everybody else. And one of the things that I realized is that's a part of lacking integrity for yourself. Even though you say you don't love yourself, but that's an integrity problem as well. Because one of the key seven aspects is um, helping others, keeping promises, responsibilities, pride, generating trust and respect, and the most important one, honesty. So if you can't be honest with yourself, with loving yourself, how can you have true integrity? It is true. What you think about it? So I think it makes me wonder why, because you said that is something that is like the one of the biggest things that people struggle with. So it makes me wonder, why do people struggle with integrity? Like, what is the root? Why is it so hard for people to have integrity? Why is it so hard to be honest and true and just? Why is it a hard thing for people? And I just cannot figure out, just in my quick little thoughts right now, why that is so hard. Um and I must say, I did look it up, and it says uh, you have your deepest value, values. You're honest with everyone and always keep your word. And so uh, one of the things that I did learn is really, integrity to me is really natural. It's a natural thing. And so if you're a person that it's natural for you to do certain things and it's natural for you to help others and do all these seven components to that I, seven aspects that I was talking about. It's kind of easy to have integrity, but let's just be real. When we discussed last week, that's one of the things that we come and lack because for ourselves, So do you think that integrity can be learned? Because you said it's natural. So when you say it's natural, is it something that it's just like we're born with, you think? Or it is learned and it becomes natural? Or what do you mean? I think it is born. I think you you it is taught. I think for the most part, 
you're not born with it. I think it's a natural thing in a sense. Like, you know, to be trustworthy, you know, to be honest, you know. But some people do lack, some people do lack responsibility. They don't feel like they're responsible for a lot of things. Some people don't care for a lot of people. Some people isolate themselves and that's how they do on a normal basis. They don't, they're not, what is it, introverts, introverts, whatever it is. But they lack, they don't like to be sociable with people. I don't so, think that's anything to do with integrity, though. You don't think so? Because I'm I don't an know. introvert. I'm very introverted, actually. When have you, when have you seen me be extroverted? Give me an example. Rich, you, huh? it, you are. I can't say you are, but you have a really caring heart for the people that you are around. But I don't think that introverts should be put in a in the Integrity. mindset of having, Integrity. you know, yeah, okay, okay. But I don't know. It makes me wonder. Because if you lack integrity, especially people who lack integrity for themselves, mm. you know, like they don't they don't value themselves, they don't find themselves integral. Um, you know, they're not even honest with themselves about situations and stuff. How can you expect a person who doesn't have self-integrity? How can you expect them to be integral to, you know, with others? Yeah. Okay. So I wonder how is it that you teach people or grow people into, you know, being um being integral? I really think too you can learn it through life, life lessons. So is it one of those things where as we can go through the same thing and it depends on how I perceive it, what maybe causes me to drink and smoke and you know, just beat up people, it causes you to reflect. You know, you yeah. have some people who they can go through the same thing um, and the responses are different. So what is the root of that, though? It's the root of that trauma? I think it's, it's a mind thing. But what's the root it's, of the mind thing, though? I think it's, uh, it's trauma in a sense. But Maybe I think upbringing. that, yeah, I think it's that's why I said it. it's really natural, but it's, it depends on your surroundings. I'm going to say that. And really, it don't really depend on your surroundings because, like you said, you can go through the same thing and people don't think like that. So it all goes back, really, to the spiritual thing. Do unto others as you have them to do unto you. Because that is in the Bible, isn't it? Is that in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold yeah, on, let me it's see in is, Luke. I know it's something in Luke, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's Matthew. Matthew it's 7, Matthew 12. 7, 12. Yeah. yeah. You know, they'd be real repetitive, Matthew, Luke, John, and them. So yeah. it's in Luke somewhere. But I think Matthew, Matthew or Luke has a more of a structural uh, thing pertaining to this. Because I think in a verse above it, it says some of our profit. I don't have it with me, but um, it was pertaining that. And it goes down to how you should be. So I think mainly it's something that you have to be taught. You have to, because you can, you have to, some people fail to realize you have to be taught to tell the truth. Because you really have people out here teaching their kids at young age to lie. If the phone ring and uh, you see a 1-800 number, you tell them mama ain't here, and but you sitting right there because it's a bill collector, you don't want to talk to them. So in all honesty, some things are taught. Yeah, and I think it kind of goes back to um, when the Bible talks about born in sin and shaping in iniquity. Because I think about, you know, we've all seen the um, the videos 
where so so there's one video that went viral for example of this little baby looked like the baby just learned how to run baby little over one and so the mom left her phone down and she was recording and and she was doing it just to see i think she had tried to tell the baby hey don't touch mama's phone you know and so we see the baby get up and get the phone and then start to walk off and the mom hollers from the background somewhere do you have my phone and the baby's laughing no and then she said give me my phone you know and the baby take off running very cute video but when i saw it after i got done you know kind of grinning a little bit at it i was like oh but what made that baby laugh so early you know what made what made the baby lie so early? Because could the baby have been taught that early to lie? Because that's clearly a lie. You know, babies do it all the time. What you got in your mouth? Nothing. Mm -hmm. But you do have something in your mouth. So it, it makes me wonder if that's where that scripture comes in. Because, you know, that is a, that's a sign of a lack of integrity, I believe. You know, I think that it's one of those things, like you say, it can be taught, but if you don't catch it, a lot of stuff that people think be cute with, with babies, you have to be careful with it mm -hmm. because they could grow up and lack integrity and just be liars, mm -hmm. you know, whereas it's cute because now, you, it ain't cute when they get grown yeah. up. Yeah, and that's just the same way with jokesters, people that tell jokes joke really? all the time because how far is a joke before it becomes a lie you know yeah um hmm so that is a a good example of lacking integrity so okay so we know that lying lacks integrity so what other examples of lacking integrity do you have uh not being respectful um not being trustworthy um not being respectful don't care about others so not it being goes reliable. To, yeah not being reliable um uh, and like i say uh caring about others cuz i can be rude. you know that's just like people that do elderly people wrong how can you, or babies wrong, or people that can't fend for themselves, and you mistreat them on purpose, like you do it on purpose. Like I know for a fact, it have been times where you can be in the store, you see the woman trying to get, walk in the store in the best, you see she got a condition, and you just like, excuse me, push them on to the side. They already shaking and trembling, barely holding up on the walker. And here you go to push these folk. Cause you trying to hurry them going up. You know. So. Hmm. So it makes me wonder. Okay, so we cannot force people to be integral. But you know, there's a such thing as like integrity in the technology world. Whereas, for an example, if your computer doesn't have integrity, your computer is not integral. Your computer's not trustworthy because it has like a virus, it's been hacked. You wouldn't log in your bank information in that right. computer because it lacks integrity because you know it's going to get stolen. You wouldn't, I don't know, pull up your ID information. You wouldn't type your social security number in uh, a computer that lacks integrity. So it makes me wonder. If we cannot control the people, you know, people having it, or not having it, don't we have a control ourselves? Why keep giving them, keep giving people who lack integrity our information, our time, our attention, when we know they're unreliable, when we know they're not trustworthy, they're gossipers, you know, they are just overall morally corrupt people. If the computer is in, uh, unintegral and you won't put your personal information in there, why do you put your information in unintegral people? So can't make people be integral, but you can definitely determine, hmm, I see the signs of integrity are missing in your life. 
So I'm just going to have to go ahead and pull out, back away, stay clear, because you are infected with a virus, and I don't want my stuff to get infected. So I'm just going to have to separate from you. Maybe that's what people should start doing, marking the integ the, the unintegral so that they'll know, oh, I need to steer clear instead of just continuing to give them our time, mm -hmm. giving them our attention, giving them our plans. People can't most, be trusted, but you give them your plans and saying. And most people that lack integrity are narcissists. Which can be such a whole show in itself. Narcissists. We're going to have to talk about it soon. Because there's a lot of them out here. You know? Victims. And they all mess. Out the hand. Throw the rock out the hand. I ain't do it. But you did it. And you did it to yourself. So yeah. you lack everything. At this point. You ain't even trustworthy with yourself. <laughs> so it goes already, goes back. Yeah. Yeah. So what signs or what if a person discovers oh i lack integrity if they're watching this and they're like oh wait a minute i feel like maybe i lack integrity because i think we can all improve a little bit when it comes to integrity i don't think anybody is perfect in that area right how can we what things steps can we take what can we do to become more integral really think you can just uh take kept Sit back and take a personality test with yourself. Uh, even if it's not on computer or nothing like that, but just write down some key component things about yourself. What do you, and be real with yourself. Don't sugarcoat yourself. If you have a procrastination issue like I used to have, but I'm kind of getting better at it. Right now, I'm putting too much on my plate and it's getting stressful. Uh, and I had to realize, is that one of my issues? That I, when I do stand on something, I put too much on and then there I go trying to run from it just because I don't want to deal with it no more. Because that's such a good point. Because lacking integrity, a sign of it is inconsistency, um, not being reliable, not completing mm. tasks. You know, if you are always starting something and not finish it, you lack integrity. So it makes you wonder. Is it that I lack integrity as a character flaw? Because you know some people have character flaws. Do I lack integrity as a character flaw? Or is it just that I have set myself up to have a life of it's impossible to be integral? Because I have put too much on my plate, so I can't get it done. Now I look like I lack integrity, but it's really that I just got too much on my plate. And I was crazy to put all this stuff on my plate. Now I'm looking bad. But it's not that I have a character flaw of it. Lack it's of just I put too much. And that's one thing I had to learn by myself because I did lack like integrity. Did. And so that's one of my, like you say, that's a character flaw. So I think really once you do a, a personality test, I wish I had a mirror. Once you get yourself together and confront your own self about certain things, I think that's the biggest step that you can take. Anything else would be natural healing, for real. And then even I think that people should maybe Google, you know, like signs of integrity or signs of a lack of integrity. Mm -hmm. Because even the small things that we don't even think about, you know, running a red light is a lack of integrity. Um, getting somebody else to do your work. It's a lack of integrity, you know. Um, pushing your kids off on other people all the time. That's the lack of it. So I think there are like small things that we don't even consider mm -hmm. that are signs of lacks of integrity, but we still have to do it. Little white lies. You know, I don't believe in them. A lie is a lie, but little white lies, a little gossip here and there, you know, not following through on a promise, making promises that you can't complete, um, cashing checks that you can't, you know, write checks that you can't cash. Those are lacks of integrity, both literally and figuratively writing checks that you can't cash. So being late with your bills, you know, like my manager's going now, like there are so many areas that we can work on to build our integrity. Yeah. So really just get yourself together. Yeah. In a nutshell. Yeah. Let's get yourself together. Let's get yourself together. So. Hmm.
That's all I got to say. Well, that was a good think piece. That was a very yeah. good. That's one of those go home and do some homework, you know? Yeah. Reevaluate yourself. Let's Re-evaluate. not take this over into a new month. Everybody say new year resolution. No. Let's try to work this stuff out before the new year even begin. The month even begin. I will mm-hmm. say the week, but it's going to take time. So I'm going to give you at least a month or uh, uh, some weeks, days. So just self self do a self evaluation on yourself to figure out what your issues. Because, because yeah, you start yeah. with yourself before you go and start looking at other people. Like you got it, um, you ain't into you. Look at yourself first. But then when you look at yourself, guys, and you start thinking about those other people that lack integrity, share this video with them. Exactly. Or tag them. Tag them below. Yeah. That's it. So we hope like you learned something. Yeah. And, and discuss it too if you want to we got you we can discuss it so that's a piece for today a piece so until next time we will peach for the day? I said a piece oh I thought we were like the Real Housewives of Atlanta or something I was like, what? we got Never. peaches no we ain't got no peaches boo I don't want to have no peaches I'm hungry there won't be no peaches but oh. in other news so well, with that being said, thank y'all for tuning in once again. And we hope y'all learned something out this little segment of integrity. Pop out. Peace out.